In this video, you'll see how to add Amazon Location Service Maps to your web applications. With this fully managed service, you can create map resources, enable unauthenticated access to your application, and embed interactive maps in your application. To get started, let's take a look at a map that we've already created in Amazon Location Service. We're going to embed this map into a new web application we're developing. This can be done using the IDE of your choice, but for our purposes, let's use Cloud9. We'll create a new Cloud9 environment for this app. For the purposes of this example, we'll use a T3 small instance type. Now that the environment has been created, Let's start by entering a command to create a new web application based on the React JavaScript library. Now that the project has been created, let's go to its folder and run it. Now let's preview the running application. As you can see, the application is currently blank. Let's close it. In order to add our Amazon Location Service Map to this application, we must first install the dependencies for Amplify and the AWS SDK. Let's do so now. We'll be using the Amplify command line interface, or CLI, to quickly handle some of the application's back-end resource configuration. While it's possible to configure resources manually, Amplify will save us time and effort. We'll run the Amplify configure command to start the configuration process. Let's quickly sign into our AWS administrator account. Then return to the Cloud9 terminal and continue. We'll use the default settings for the region and username. We can use this link to finish the user creation process in the AWS console. The user has been created. We'll need this access key ID and secret access key in just a moment. Let's return to Cloud9. We'll copy and paste the keys for the user we just created. Let's use the default profile name. The Amplify CLI is set up, and we can now use it to handle the app's back-end configuration. Let's initialize the project. We'll retain the default values as we proceed through the initialization process. Now that the initialization is complete, let's use Amplify to add authentication to the project. Amplify will use Amazon Cognito as the authentication provider. Once again, let's retain the default values. Next, let's push the authentication configuration we just created to the cloud. The Amplify CLI has now created our authentication resources in the cloud. Next, let's grant guest users access to our map. To do that, we'll first bring up the authentication consoles. Let's keep the default values to generate links to both the user pool console and the identity pool console. We'll open the identity pool console. Here's our identity pool for Cognito. Let's edit it. To allow guests to access our map without logging in, we must first enable access to unauthenticated identities. Next, we'll go back and take a closer look at the unauthenticated role. Let's make a note of the unauthenticated role's name and search for it in AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM. Now let's select the unauthorized role and add an inline policy. We'll go to the JSON tab and add a statement allowing users to view the map. Next, we need to specify the Amazon resource name, or ARN, of our map as a resource. Let's navigate to Amazon Location Service to copy the ARN. Here's the map we created. Let's drill down. We'll copy the ARN and paste it into the JSON code of our inline policy. Let's review the policy. This page gives a summary of the policy and some helpful links. We'll give the policy a name and create it. 
Let's expand our view of the policy to see its underlying code. Now that our guest users have permission to access the map, let's return to Cloud9 and embed the map in our web application. To embed the map, we must add two libraries to the dependencies in the package.json file in the project's root folder. Let's do so now. We'll add mapbox.gl and react.map.gl here. Note the specific versions of the libraries we're adding, as some newer versions of the library may not work with Amazon Location Service. Now let's save the file and run the npm install command to install the new libraries. Now that the needed libraries are installed, we can embed the map into the application by going into the source folder and editing the app.js file. Let's add the code to import the needed libraries. We'll also add a function to sign requests made by MapboxGL using AWS Signature v4. Next, let's modify the app function to include the map, some default values, and a mechanism for handling user credentials. Here you can see the map widget we can import. Notice that map style is equal to the constant map name, which is defined above. As you can see, map name is defined as the name of the map we created using Amazon Location Service. The map widget will use that name to determine the style of the map. Notice also that we have the map set to display at full width and height. Let's go back to the terminal and start the application. Now that the server is running, let's preview the application once again. As you can see, our application now contains the zoomable, draggable map we created in Amazon Location Service. We can also pop out the map into a separate tab using the button on the upper right. You've just seen how to add Amazon Location Service Maps to a web application. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.